A Corbin native who now lives in Belgium tells us he was working this morning when one of the bombs exploded just a few miles from him. And it's been a stressful day for him and his family who still lives in southern Kentucky. Phil Pendleton continues our team coverage. Come on, let's get ready to go. Elaine Bennett is a grandmother, spending this otherwise beautiful day with her granddaughter in Corbin. More than 4,000 miles away, her son was just two miles from a scene of devastation. Well, when you first hear that, where's he at? You know, so, but he had let, they, he had communicated with them that he was all right. Bennett's son Joby works for an international business. Her daughter-in-law and seven and two-year-old granddaughters have been in Brussels for four years. Joby Bennett says he feared something like this was bound to happen. The authorities in Brussels have kind of created this or allowed this, let's say, this environment to fester as far as giving radicals a place to live. And Joby Bennett says that he travels quite a bit. He says it has been very unsettling to see that area in disarray. He says the terrorists didn't harm anyone in his company that he knows of, but he says the attack put a halt to a lot of his work and the people traveling to get it done. And he's questioning his role as well. It has already started conversations, you know, between my wife and myself as far as, you know, do we start looking for something back in the U.S.? So we've been in Brussels for four years. So, you know, and we saw this kind of building before the, even the migrant crisis. Bennett says he felt safe in his office, but he says he doesn't feel safe out in public anymore. In Corbin, Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Joby Bennett says he thinks the attack should be a wake-up call for European leaders of the growing threat of the Islamic State in that part of the world.